What's up guys, it's Jeff with iDownloadBlog. Going to show you how to install iPhoto on iOS 5.0.1. Now, as you probably know already, this is what you get when you try to install iPhoto on iOS 5.0.1. It says this app requires iOS 5.1. That's really annoying, especially for jailbreakers because the iPhone 4S and the iPad 2 obviously cannot be jailbroken on iOS 5.1. So you have to stay at 5.01 if you want to keep your jailbreak. But if you want to use the new apps like iPhoto and the updated iMovie, then what are you going to do? Well, you can follow this tutorial and trick iMovie, trick iPhoto into thinking that it is running iOS 5.1. Now, we're going to do this by means of a jailbreak app that you guys know real well by now. It is called iFile, and you can, of course, download that from Cydia. There, there is iFile. Once you have it downloaded and installed, just go ahead and open it up, and we're going to navigate to the following directory. It is going to be System Library Core Services, so I'm going to show you how to get there now. Go to System Go to library, go to core services, and then you should see this right here. You should see system version dot plist. That is what you want to find right there at the bottom, system version dot plist. You want to open that up with the plist or the property list viewer. So just tap that to open it up, and then you should see this product version, and you should see 5.0.1 because that's the firmware that you're actually on. But what we're going to do is change that to 5.1 to full iMovie and full iPhoto to make it think it's running 5.1. So all you do is tap on it like that, and then we just backspace, and we can change this value right here from 5.0.1 into 5.1 to trick those apps. So just like that, you see it 5.1. We're good to go, so we can go back. And once you go back, just verify that the product version says 5.1. Once you have done that, then all you do is tap done in the upper right-hand corner like that. And then you can close out of iFile. We're done with iFile for the time being. Now, let's test it out. How about that? Let's open up the App Store and try to install iPhoto. What's going to happen? Oh, no. This app requires iOS 5.1, but no big deal. All we forgot to do is to respring. So just open up something like Spring to My, tap Reload, Respring, or whatever tool you use to respring and respring your device. Once you do that, open up the App Store app again. Let it load up here. And now let's try to install iPhoto. Look at that, folks. It is installing right now. I'm going to speed it up a little bit because this is a pretty big download here, as you can see. It's finished installing, so now we can open it up, and guess what happens? Well, unfortunately, it crashes, but there is a fix for that. If you watch the other video that I have for iPhoto, I'll show you how to fix that. Now, iMovie, on the other hand, does work. No crashes. It works perfectly. I've tried it out, and all you do is install iMovie after you change that plist value that I showed you there earlier, and it works very well. Of course, the new iMovie has that new trailer functionality that's really cool that everybody's raving about, but you can also fix iPhoto. Just install this iPhoto 501 fix like I alluded to earlier. You can check out the video uh, that we did on that particular jailbreak tweak, and voila, this is what you'll get, a fully functioning iPhoto. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.